When Napster first came about, I didn't understand the internet yet. I thought Yahoo was a person. 99 was the really the biggest year. When the CD business took off, everyone got fat. You could sell six, seven hundred million CDs a year. You had your fly Walmart CD holder on your visor. It was kind of like printing money. That was the business that we were in for years. But we talk about what went wrong, what went wrong for who? The artists or the industry? The music industry had always been really concerned about piracy. Once file sharing technology came along, they understood, though, that everything that had come before was nothing. People just started ripping music and sharing it. All that work, writing it, recording it, tweaking it. Now these songs leak, and I'm like, we're blaming our friends. Get the f off my phone. First I was like, I'm gonna take just one. And that's that f this, this Mary J. Blige. They smuggle them out in food trays and metal belt buckles. I ain't feel bad. I feel bad They at first. wanted me to be good, they'd have paid me more. As soon as the artist turned in the record, you could set a stopwatch for how soon it was going to leak. Maybe they don't know that this is completely illegal. I don't even know, is there a statute of limitation on this before I start saying that I was downloading and I was a part of Napster? The music industry was flailing. That's where we put on helmets, like we were at war. 17 FBI agents surrounded our apartment complex. Here's what you don't understand, if music should be free. I have an entire army of people that need their paycheck. It's one of the biggest exports America has, and it's going out of business. Houston, we've got a problem. 